Hello everyone, I am Bradley Sward, Associate Professor of Computer and Information Science at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois. This video right now is going to look at Advent of Code Day 3 in Python. Forget what it's called. What is the problem called? Toboggan Trajectory. And so what you're trying to do is you are on a toboggan and you're going down a certain velocity and you're just trying to see how many trees will concuss you along the way as you're going down a certain number of squares. And in this example, first example, it says go down right three, down one. And I can see myself because I've done the problems before, but I'm just saying like, what if instead of just hard coding it for going right three and down one, what if I, what if I could make it a little more general and make it so that I can go right an X amount and a down a Y amount. And then that way if I, <laughs> wink, wink, hint, hint. If I ever need uh, this code to be a little more generic for maybe part two, then I don't have to go ahead and worry about it. I just, I can, in, in four seconds, I can go from being done with part one to being part, done with part two. So let me just go, go ahead and say, what is that dx value? Just ask the user, what is that going to be? In our case, the dx is going to be a three. Uh, the hardest part for me is going to be typing. Enter dx, there we go, and then dy equals int input enter dy. Alrighty, and this is, this was fun, this was a fun thing for me to be learning Python and just learning all these little, little quick and dirty things here. So now coming down, I got my x value, got my y value, and now I'm going to go into the file and I'm going to pull down the information. And what I'm going to say here is my v, I like to call it vector, I'm a C++ guy, right, so you know, nerdy me. But v for vector or list, I just don't want to use l because l is a terrible letter because it looks like a 1. And I'm just going to say for every x inside of the file, and I'm going to read it. And mine is set up so that I can split it by new line characters. But what's really cool about this, and I just learned, uh oh, my thing turned off so I can, okay. But what's really cool about this is that I can split the thing, but then I can say right here, I can say, hey, colon colon 2, oops, colon colon 2. Get, oh, not two, dy. Get me every dy -th element. So if I put one here for, like this case, the down one, if I put a one in here, it'll, it'll give me every line. It'll keep every line. But if I only, you know, it'll, but if it's, uh, but if I put a two or a three, it'll give me every second line or every third line. And that's really, really slick. And I just have to add one more ending brace here. And again, this, <laughs> I'm, I, I like writing simple code, but this is fun. I can read this. I can understand it. I feel like I'm living in a whole new universe here. Okay, so now I have my file, and I never have to worry anymore about the dy value. I just have to go line for line through because everything has already been parsed out of the read. So I can say, how many trees did I hit? I start out with zero, of course. What is my x value inside of this thing as I'm rotating around? It's zero. And I say, for every y value in v... And then, like I said, I don't have to worry about indexing because it just it's already set up for me. So every row of this vector or list structure contains what I need. So I can say uh, and trees, and I say plus equals. This is just a, a really fancy, again, I'm just having fun with this, a, a fancy way of saying um, an if statement here. This, because whatever I say here, this relational operator is going to turn into a 0 or a 1, and I can just add it right in. I do not need that. But I say, okay, why? at the x, and I have to remember if I'm going to be adding to x value as I'm going, I need to take the length, and I need to mod it by the length of one of the elements here. So I could just, let me just close this off. So what this is saying, like in our cases, this thing is 31 per, uh, there's, like in the file, there, I know there's 31 elements per row, and there's like 300 something rows. But, but what I'm saying is that depending on if the file is different, then I could use it. This is just making this more generic. So get me that and mod it because when x, if I keep adding to x, adding to x, adding to x, it's going to shoot over the bounds if I'm not careful about it. And so coming back one more time here, let me make sure that, so if I take this and it's equal to that hashtag character, the octothorpe, whatever it is, and then, and I don't need it. This is, it, this is the if statement here. Does this equal this? And if it does, add a one. If it doesn't, add a zero. So it's basically the same. And then I just have to move over dx units. And if I did this right, if I typed it all out right,
then obviously I should see the correct answer. So for this problem, I want to go three right. I want to go one down every time. And the answer I get for this is 203. And lo and behold, that is the answer to our puzzle for part one. And how many trees would I hit following these rules? And so for part two, lo and behold, like I was just saying, like, oh goodness, we can already, I need to do, I need to multiply the results of five separate actions, but now it's just a matter of seconds of work to go one, one gives me 68. Multiply that by the 203 we got a minute ago. Run this again, and then go five, one is 78. And then you go, okay, fine, and you go uh, seven, one is 77. And you do it one more time, and you say one, two, and you should get 40, and you do. And so now you multiply those four numbers together, and you get 3,316,272,972. Three so there you go. Python is turning out to be quite a fun language. You do so much so quickly. Oh my goodness, it's turning me to the dark side. Oh geez. But um, this was fun. This was a fun example. Very generic, because now the, the file can be whatever size you want it to be. And you can look by any number you want. My wife was, was suggesting to set it up so you could say what characters are the tree characters or the things you want to collide with. I mean, I think I would do that if, if it needed to be for future problems or something. But anyway, thanks for sticking with me as always. Um, if you know a better way to do things, please comment below or just say hi. And uh, thanks for sticking with it. We'll see, we'll see how tomorrow goes if I make a video. But if it's anything like today, I'll go quick and I can have a video for you guys. Thanks. See you later.